mommies and daddies, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine at the comfort of your home. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about the seven areas of learning and development of your children. So if you watched my previous video before, I talk about the early childhood education and the seven areas of learning and development in general. But here in this video, we're going to learn more and understand how will you offer a variety of activities, resources to your children to learn through play. So I want you to stick with me until the end so I can share and resource to you all the variety of activities and learning opportunities to your child to learn through play. If you want to learn more about Tinker House, our lessons, topics, and activities, punch the subscribe button here and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will be updated on my next videos. Hi, I'm Ms. Jovi. I'm a registered nurse, an early years educator for preschool, and a special needs teacher. I am a mother of two lovely girls. I am very blessed to help all the parents and kids around the world to learn and have access to quality education for children in an inclusive environment. Here are the seven areas of learning and development of your children. Number one, personal, social, and emotional development. Self-confidence and self-awareness. Children are confident to try to new activities and to speak in a familiar group. You can say to them why they like the activities more than the others. You can also talk to them about their ideas and let them choose what resources they need for the activities. They can also say if they need help. Managing feelings and behavior. Your children can talk about how they and others show feelings. Talk it's about okay, Bella. their own and others' behavior and its consequences. And know that some behavior is unacceptable. They work as part of a group or class and understand the follow the rules. They also adjust their behavior to different situations and take changes of routine in their stride. Making relationships. Your children can play cooperatively, taking turns with others. They can also take account of one another's ideas about how to organize their activity. They also show sensitivity to others' needs and feelings and form positive relationship with adults and other children. Physical Development Moving and Handling Your children can show good control and coordination in large and small movements. They move confidently in a range of ways Safely negotiating space, they handle equipments and tools effectively, including pencils for writing. Health and self-care. Your children know the importance for good health of physical exercise and a healthy diet, and they can talk about ways to keep healthy and safe. They can also manage their own basic hygiene and personal needs successfully, including dressing and going to the toilet independently. Communication and language. Listening and attention. Your children can listen attentively in a range of situations. They listen to stories, accurately anticipating key events and respond to what they hear with relevant comments, questions or actions. They can also give their attention to what others say and respond appropriately while engaged in another activity. Understanding. How can you write Your children can sound? follow instructions mm. involving several mm. ideas or actions. Mm. They can, can answer how and why questions about Mom, their wow, experiences and in response to stories mm. or Four. events. Mom, can you write it down? Well done. Oh. High five. Speaking. Children express themselves effectively. 
showing awareness of listeners' needs. They use past, present, and future forms accurately when talking about events that have happened or are to happen in the future. They develop their own narratives and explanations by connecting ideas or events. Understanding the world. People and communities. Your children can talk about past and present events in their own lives and in the lives of family members. They also know that other children don't always enjoy the same things okay, let's and are go sensitive there, to this. They know about similarities and differences between themselves and others and among families, communities, and traditions. The world. Here, children know about similarities and differences in relation to places, objects, materials, and living things. They talk about the feature of their own immediate environment and how environments might vary from one another. They make observation of animals and plants and explain why some things occur and talk about these changes. Technology Children recognize that a range of technology is used in places such as homes and school. They select and use technology for particular purposes. Literacy Reading Children read and understand simple sentences. They use phonic knowledge to decode regular words and read them aloud accurately. They also read some common irregular words. They demonstrate understanding when talking with others about what they have read. Writing Children use their phonic knowledge Ooh, to write word. words in ways which good. match their spoken they sounds. Space. They also write some irregular common words. That's they write the simple word. sentences which can be read by themselves and others. Some words are spelled correctly and others and are phonetically space. Plausible. Mathematics Numbers Your children can count reliably with numbers from 1 to 20. Place them in order and say which number is one more or one less than a given number. Using quantities and objects, they add and subtract two single-digit numbers and count on or back to find the answer. They can also solve problems including doubling, halving, and sharing. Eight, nine, nine, and last one, ten. ten. Very good. Shape, space, and measure. Children use everyday language, talk about size, weight, capacity, position, distance, time, and money to compare quantities and objects to solve the problems. They can also recognize, create, and describe patterns. They explore characteristic of everyday objects and shapes and use mathematical language to describe them. Expressive Arts and Design Exploring and using media materials Children sing songs, make music and dance, and experiment with ways of changing them. They safely use and explore a variety of materials, tools and techniques, experimenting with color, design, texture, form, and function. Being imaginative. Children use what they have learned about media and materials in original ways. Thinking about uses and purposes, they represent their own ideas, thoughts, and feelings through design and technology, art, music, dance, role play, and stories. After understanding the seven areas of learning and development, now you can apply this and offer it to your children. If this video is helpful for you, I want you to hit the like button and share it to the parents and children or anyone who will benefit this video. Hi, if you would like to be part of the community group of supporting parents, head over to my Facebook at Tinker House and I want you to put some comments, ideas, and insights and I would love to read all of them and I will be the part of the journey of your kids to learn through play. Hi mommies and daddies! I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at Tinkerhouse. If you would snap a picture of your child that plays, 
please send it to me and I would love to make a shout out at the end of my videos. Bye! Have a nice day everyone!